What's up guys, today we're taking a look at the Vivaldi browser, which has recently just moved into the beta version. The thing that makes this browser special or different from all the others is that instead of trying to make things more basic and simplistic, it's blazing its own path and trying to put power back in the hand of the user. And that's really one of the key things about this browser. All the extra features, both large and small, mixed with the attractive design, really give the browser a special characterization. While using Vivaldi, my experience with things like overall fluidity and how smooth things generally were was pretty decent. Most of the time it seemed to take a little bit to reach max fluidity, but once everything was loaded and at normal performance rate, pages, videos, and everything else of that nature loaded perfectly fine. Like I said before, the extra features is what really set this browser apart from the others. Personally, one of my favorite features is the page actions, where you can change how everything appears, which leads to further customized user experience. As far as the layout of the browser goes, I think that it not only looks really good, but it's also functional too. Everything you need and more is present. If we take a look around the interface, in the top left corner you have your basic stuff, back, forward, home buttons, etc. And in the very tip of the corner is the menu button that gives you access to lots of the main controls and features. In the top right is the rest of your basic stuff along with the trash button and a mini search bar. In the bottom left you can find your button to open the side panel that contains things like all your downloads, bookmarks, notes, mail, and other stuff that you wish to add. Finally, in the bottom right corner, you have your page tilling, image toggling, page actions, and a slider for zooming in and out. Overall, I definitely think that you should give Vivaldi a try and see if it fits your needs. Personally, I enjoyed using it a lot, although I do prefer using Google Chrome a little bit more. Thanks for watching, if you're interested in this browser make sure you check out the description for a download link. As well, don't forget to like and subscribe for more awesome stuff like this, and as always, I'll see you guys in the next one.